How many images have you made in mid-journey? Have you found a favorite cocktail of parameters yet? You know, stylized, chaos, maybe an aspect ratio that really clicked for you? Well, if you have, I bet you don't like having to write them all out each time. And that's why I think you should be using this feature to create shortcuts for your prompts. It's called Prefer Option Set, and it lets you make custom instructions for the bot. Like for me, I'm a fan of Stylize 400 and Chaos 8, so I might make a custom command so that those parameters appear when I want them to. You choose a magic word and then you activate it with dash dash. Let me show you how to do it. In the prompt box on Discord, you're gonna hit forward slash and then prefer option set. Hit enter. And once you've made them, you'll see a list of options available, but don't worry about that for now. Right here next to option in the prompt box is where we're gonna input the shortcut name. What do we wanna call it? For that stylize and chaos example I just gave you, maybe we could just call it me. M-E, because it's my favorite and you can make it your favorite. So we'll put M-E. Now the key thing to do is click over here on the right side at plus one more. That will then bring up this option here, the value. We're gonna click on that. Now next to value, we can create whatever long parameters we want our shortcut to turn into, S400C8. Now what that means is that anytime we put dash dash me, it's going to expand into S400C8. Let me show you. Cute cat resting on a building. Dash dash me. And look at that, it worked. What a great way to save time. <laughs> Aw, look how good these are. But if you're thinking, oh, dash dash me doesn't really work well for you and you want to change the name, it's really simple. You're going to go through the same process, but instead of hitting plus one more and then hitting value, we're just going to type the shortcut we already used, me. You're going to leave the value blank and now that was removed. So maybe ME didn't really connect the shortcut well in your brain. So you could try naming it something like SC1. And then if you wanted another stylized and chaos combo, you could do something like SC2 and make it S800C40. We'll try that cute cat on the building again, SC2, and boom, S800C40. Aw, let's take a moment and appreciate these feline fellas. But what else could you use this for? Well, you could use this for words that you'd like to add to your prompt, like maybe a few cyberpunk theme words. Cute cat resting on a building, comma, dash dash cyber. And that's going to expand into something like cyberpunk style, futuristic, fractal light, mesmerizing. Instead of having to type that every time, you can simplify it into one little shortcut. Bit of an advanced feature, but a game changer for sure. Maybe you could use it for a spooky set of gothic phrases. You can make spooky turn into haunted, gloomy, treacherous, grimy, grunge, netherworld. In fact, if you found yourself prompting something like cute cat resting on a building more than once, you could even condense that into a shortcut. And then we'd prompt dash dash cc dash dash spooky. Look how good that works. And remember, you can use whatever shortcut names you'd like. You could even use something like dash dash ick to help you remember a longer phrase. You also could use this for including your favorite artist combos. And I have one advanced tip for you here. We'll call it art one. And then the master tip is actually to start these with a comma. So we'll start it with comma and then Don Mites, comma, Todd McFarlane, comma, Mary Blair. And then for the prompt, all you need is dash dash cc dash dash art one. And then we get a beautiful prompt written like this. Now I included a comma at the end of our cute cat resting on a building. And that's something I would actually recommend you don't do. I think it's much better to start it with the comma rather than at the end. It'll just make it easier to write your prompt. Like here, you go super dog art one. Oh, well, look how good these turned out. That's insane. Great for artist combos. You could even use this for setting up negative prompts to make sure certain things are excluded from your images. We'll make the shortcut no C for something like no color, camera, wear and tear. And that might come in handy for something like a vintage Polaroid. And if you've learned anything useful so far, hit that like button below so we could share this information with more people. Another use case for this feature is creating a shortcut for a certain seed if you think you found a special one. Or if you just want to easily test out a seed number without writing it out every time. 
and these are pretty beautiful. Now, personally, I like using this for aspect ratios. I use dash dash wide for 16 by nine and dash dash poster for two by three. Now, is it hard to write dash dash AR 16 colon nine? No, but every time, let me tell you dash dash wide is much faster. Ah, oh, these playing cards look cool. And I like these as well. You know what's really crazy? You can even use these for image link. Let's create a base design. We'll go with abstract watercolor color painting. All right, these are cool. Let's go with number two. You're gonna upscale it, click on it once so it expands, right click and then hit copy image address. And we're gonna go to prefer option set and then maybe we'll just call this WC for watercolor. Hit plus one more value and we're gonna paste that link set. So now if we wanted to see Batman in that style, we'll just start with dash dash WC Batman. Look at that. Oh my God. Look how easy that was. Look how good these are. There's Wonder Woman and there's the Flash made so easily all in the same style. Very fast and very powerful. You could even use this for some keywords based around coloring pages or sticker art. I went with stick W to indicate sticker art and white background. And then cute dog dash dash stick W is going to create this. So helpful, such a great addition to your workflow. Now you'll have to come up with some words to help remind you of your longer strings, but just in case you forget, you can type in forward slash prefer option list and see everything you've made. In fact, I didn't know this. Apparently I've made too many. So the rest of them have been sent to me as a file, but I guess if I hit expand, Boom, there they all are. Those are all the shortcuts I've made. And if your list is getting a little too long and you need to do some cleaning, remember what I showed you earlier. Going into prefer option set and typing in the name of an existing shortcut while leaving the value blank will delete that shortcut from your list. Removed. Easy peasy. And for the record, there is a really advanced thing you can do with prefer option set. You can set up shortcuts for permutations, but I'll be going over that in a future video. So subscribe and stick around for it. And I'm curious, do you have any questions or thoughts about AI and maybe want to hear my perspective? Please check the description for a form you can fill out and I'll get to it on my podcast. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to check out the free PDFs in the description and the prompt packs available on my website. Also, if you want some more advanced help with regards to image prompting and selecting custom weights, you can check out this video here. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.